Previously on Time Storm. More antipasto? No thanks. The pizza should be out any minute, and I'm ready. Be right back. Hurry, or I'll eat your slices. Witness. Find. Zenumba. Pizza again. Former humans don't require caloric intake. I'm not thinking about the calories. Let's do this, shall we? Clothing. Stylish. Can these sleeves be any poofier? Uh, I'm so gonna have hat hair. Sinking barometer. 1897. 1897. Ponce, Puerto Rico. Teatro, La Pena. Cosme, Tisol. Claudio, Brindis, de Sala. Cuban, Cuban, Charberis. Lolita, Tisol. Nena, girl, violin is the least that broken promise. One quest. Retrieve a broken promise. Ponce. Quest begins now. <laughs> Does at jazz concerts at NJ Pack. Where do you think we'll find a broken promise? Well, I don't know. This place is huge. It could be anywhere. He was amazing, Papi. Si, Lolita. And to think he came all the way here to play for us? For us and a few hundred other Ponceños. Mira, an usher just went through that door leading backstage. Quick, got your violin? Follow me, Lolita. You think we're allowed, Papi? No one said otherwise. Maybe there's a broken promise backstage. You read my mind. Here, behind this curtain. Pero it was an honest mistake, senor. You see, some musicians request that we put away their instruments following a concert. I will put away my. Stradivarius. Gracias. Stradivarius? Sounds like a dinosaur. It's a violin. They're crazy rare. Con permiso, señor. Si. Do I know you? Cosmetisol. I heard you teach the violin in every city you visit. (laughs) Bueno. I try. I've never heard anyone play the violin like you. Ah, gracias, mijita. I see you've brought your own instrument. I can play it for you. I hope you'll understand I only teach serious students. Lolita is serious. Serious male students. Maybe it's time to change that. I'm afraid my time in Ponce is all booked up. Lo siento. Excuse me, but how far away is Havana? Ah. (laughs) You know my hometown in Cuba. You studied me. I know that your island is to the west of ours and that we share a sea. That's more geography than I knew at your age. Is it close enough that you'll come here again? Or perhaps my family can visit you. Ah, Mira. You are quite serious. Let her play. Then you can decide. Show me your best 30 seconds, Nina. Shh. 
she's really good. You think her violin is the artifact? I hope not. I don't want to take this girl's violin. Hmm. Impressive. Bueno, me llamo Claudio Brindis de Salas Garrido. I know that. They also call you the king of octaves. <laughs> Así es. And your name? Lola Tiso. I will teach you, Lola, but only if you commit to the violin to make it your life's passion. I promise. Meet me here tomorrow afternoon after school lets out. Gracias, Señor Brindis. I won't let you down. Shouldn't we follow them? That girl literally just made a promise. That's got to be a clue. She made a promise. She didn't break one. The artifact's got to be in here somewhere. Alexa, what are you doing? Whoa. Can you imagine performing on this stage with those seats full? People applauding and cheering? You don't have time for this. Okay. We need to find a broken promise. What if the stagehand promised not to touch the Stradivarius? Would that count? You think the artifact is the crazy rare violin of a world-famous musician? You have a better idea? I thought you were against stealing violins. <gasps> what are you ninos doing on stage? We're, uh, students. Yeah. <laughs> See, aren't we all... You can stay out in the lobby until the storm passes, but you can't be... What's that sound? Um, my brother's pocket watch. It's loud. Probably should get that fixed, Benito. No, no, no. Not yet. We don't have a broken... <laughs> hey! We didn't even have enough time to figure out what the broken promise was. Was it the Stradivarius? Claudio Brindis de Salas Garrido Stradivarius? <laughs> now that would be an impossible quest. You got what you needed from that time. Nothing? The artifact is in 1907. You were in 1897. So there wasn't a broken promise in that theater? Affirmative. You were there to witness a moment that will help you identify the artifact. Which moment? Yeah, what were we there to see? It'll be clear soon. Time to head back. Clothing! Sinking. 1907. Ponce, Puerto Rico, Tizol. Padre, Saturnina, Tizol. Madre, Madre, young woman. Señorita, Violinist. Violinist. Broken promise. Continues now. I didn't realize Lola was teaching today. Come in, come in. Us? Of course. Your names? Benito. Alexandra. Hola. Hola, Hola señora. señora. I'll take it from here, Ma. Thank you. Ah, new students. Benito y Alexandra. You promised to cut back on your hours, Lola. Ay, mommy, what would you prefer? That I refuse them? Oh, no, we can't leave yet. Uh, our parents would be so disappointed if we didn't start our lessons today. Lola can study after dinner. Fine. But remind that school that you no longer teach on Wednesdays. Bueno. Who's first? First? Oh, oh. Uh, I, uh, wow. <laughs> I, uh... You can go, Alexandra. Ooh, you sure you don't want to go, Benito? Ladies first. I insist. Great. Thank you. What a kind young gentleman. I know, right? <laughs> Here's a practice instrument. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, um... Oh, it's it's your first time holding a violin, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We'll start at the beginning, then. Resting position. Stand with your feet together. Place the violin under your right arm, like so. Careful not to squeeze the bridge. Good. Now, before I hand you the bow, make a limp hand. Y los dedos... Aquí, and then your pinky, así. 
Don't worry, you're doing just fine. Mira, mijito. Bread. Oh, no, thanks. It wasn't a question. She makes good bread. Buen provecho. Okay, gracias. Mm. Does your sister make bread? No. Bueno, she's still young. Now, Lola should be making bread. But between school, teaching, and that violin... Ay, Saturnina, she's keeping her word. It always comes back to this. The promise she made backstage at a concert a long time ago. <gasps> backstage? Teatro La Perla. How many children get to learn from Brindis de Salas? Let alone how many girls? Perhaps no other parent would stand for their daughter devoting their lives to music. <sighs> She's gifted, Saturnina. Brindis saw something in her. Her passion. Her promise. That was ten years ago, Cosme. We're in a new century, and so much has changed. We've all had to let some things go. Mira, more bread, Benito. No, thanks. Oh, that wasn't a question. Uh, thank you. Otra vez, from resting position to playing position. Do you mind if I stretch out my neck a little? Go ahead. You can place the instrument in the case right there. You're a good teacher. That's kind of you. My mother would be thrilled to hear it. She wants me to forget the violin and become an educator. Now, I really do believe that teaching is an excellent profession, but I made a promise once. A promise? To dedicate my life to music. Of course, it was years ago, back when we were still subjects of Spain, before Hurricane San Siriaco wiped away so much across the island. And you haven't broken your promise in all that time? I've never gone more than a couple days without playing since I gave him my word. The teacher who changed my life. Claudio Brindis de Salas. You know of him? I, I learned about him recently. The King of Octaves. I still have the bow he gave me during my final lesson. I promise to use it for my first professional performance. Wow. Can I hear you play with it? See, papi? Sorry to interrupt, Lola. A letter's come for you. I thought you'd want to read it at once. Cosme, I told you to let me see it first. The envelope is addressed to Lolita. She should be the one to open it. Alexa, any luck? Not yet. It's from the school in Boston. Boston? Here, I'll... Hold your bow. Gracias. It's a scholarship to study music. De verdad. Nice! Whoa. What about the teacher training program in Alabama? This school can train me to be a professional musician. They believe in me, just like Brindis. What do you think? You'll tour the world as he did? Oh, to travel all over and play concert halls, just like Teatro La Perla. Don't you see? I can keep my promise to him. A little girl made a promise. You're a woman now, Lola. And a musician's life is not for you. No! You won't touch this letter! You can't stop me! Here's what I can do. My boat! Saturnina! It's, it's broken. broken. How could you? You have no idea what you've done. Lola! I'll deal with Lola. Get the artifact. The bow. I'm on I'm sorry that your bow is broken. Thank you. You know, if I were a boy, she'd probably throw me a party. It's so unfair. What are you, 13? 12. A couple of years until people start setting limits for you. I think it, it'll be different for me. Things change with time. <laughs> I thought things would be different for me, too. When my father took me to see Brindis in concert, and I saw him on that stage playing his Stradivarius. 
that was it. The life I wanted. To perform, to command an audience's attention, to capture sound, then let it ripple away. Sounds incredible. But that wasn't even his greatest gift to me. The bow. The bow's special. But no, Brindis made me believe in my promise. How I wish I could have studied with him longer. But he's busy performing on the most famous stages in the world. You said he changed your life. Not the performer, but Claudio Brindis, the teacher. Maybe that's how you can change lives. Lola Tisol, the teacher. Why couldn't you just talk to her? That bow meant the world to Lolita. It was from her childhood, Cosme. It's time that you recognize she's not a little girl anymore. I do, Saturnina. But why does that have to mean shutting the door on her dream? Think about life for a young woman. Not some dream, but real life. I thought maybe. But by that time Lolita came of age, becoming a musician would be an option for her. As it should be. You know it isn't. The bow. I had no choice but to break it. You know a musician's life isn't for our daughter. And you must tell her this, Cosme. She won't hear it coming from me. Ahora, I must finish dinner. Your lessons will need to be postponed. We understand. I'm going to grab the last piece of bread. I'll be right out. Glowing blue. The bow is the artifact. Thank you, flowing white shirt, for keeping my cover. (gasps) It's switching to purple. The portal's opening. I've forgotten to feed the chicks, Alexandra. A quest that must be done. Let's go. Great. Adios. Did you hear that? That's the strangest noise I've ever heard. Nice kids. A little strange, pero... Too bad I can't teach them again. I think your mother will let you continue teaching students. If, if you train to be teacher in Alabama, you can teach and play violin on the side. A hobbyist. Nothing wrong with that. Of course not. But Brindis only taught serious students, and he taught me. When you were a girl. You called me a serious student back then? You believed in me, like he did. I still believe in you, Lola. Y en otra vida. You tour the world as famous as they come. In another life, I would have been a serious music student at that school in Boston. But you're a young woman living here and now. And your mother's right. You wouldn't be respected as a musician. Teaching is an honorable profession. Alexandra told me I'm a good teacher. Smart girl. The broken bow. I can't bear to see it again. Will you throw it on the stove? Ay, Lola. Please, papi. As you wish. (laughs) Welcome back. Bueno, that was a tricky one. How do you get the bow from Saturnina, Benny? She put it down on the table. But I, I kind of feel like I just stole something. So, how is retrieving an artifact different from, uh, you know, theft? In the original timeline, Lola never saw the bow again. She insisted Cosme throw it on the stove out back. That's harsh. Here it is, a broken promise. Artifact cloud, emerge. Artifact attained. It's just so weird seeing that broken bow floating up there like that. Artifact cloud, retreat. Clothing. Nos vemos, adios. (laughs) (laughs) Is it weird that I feel sad for Lola back in 1907? Having to break her promise like that. Lola kept her promise. She is not the one who broke it. You're right. It was broken for her. 
I wonder what her life would have been like if she'd been allowed to keep her promise. I guess we'll never know. Oh, I think Mario's headed to our table with pizza. Did you find it? Hmm. What? The rack for your raincoat and umbrella. Oh, yeah. It's still next to the bathroom. A grandma and a margarita pie. episode of Timestorm was written by Danya Ramos. Audio engineering, sound design, and theme song were by Michael Aquino. The role of Alexa Ventura was played by Leilani Figueroa. Benny Ventura was played by Claudio Venancio. Horacio Mendez was played by Orlando Segarra. Acabe was played by Alicia Rivas. Young Lola was played by Isabella Ramirez. Lola Tisol was played by Isabel Pask. Cosme Tisol. Was played by Ernio Hernandez. Saturnina Tisol. Was played by Marilyn Rico. Claudio Brindis de Salas Garrido. Was played by A.R. Garcia. Clara Ventura. Was played by Jenica Carmona. Ramiro Ventura. Was played by Walter Rodriguez. With special guest musician. Aurora Mendez. You can also hear her on this episode's alternate version of the theme song. Also featured were Michael Aquino and Emilio Zappa. Timestorm is produced by Coco Tasso Media with support from PRX and the Google Podcasts Creator Program. If you enjoy the show, please tell two friends about it. And then ask your parents to subscribe to Timestorm on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or the Kids Listen app. Transcripts and resources are available at timestormseries.com. Now it's time for our listener share out. Hello, my name is Sophia. I'm 12 years old and I live in the United States. For my time travel share out, I want to share about where I would time travel to. I'd go to New York City where I lived when I was a baby. I think New York City is cool now, and I want to see if in the year 3010 there are flying cars, other high-tech stuff, and to see how tall the buildings have gotten. Seeing New York City from a flying car? What a view that would be. Thanks for sharing, Sophia. Hey, listeners. We want to hear from you. We're seeking voice recordings of up to one minute in the following categories. Adventure culture, community, and time travel. To learn more about how to submit your own share out, please visit timestormseries.com. As always, thanks for listening.